I hope you're all doing well. So, yesterday I finished off doing the last bit of the first colour. I'll just take my needle out there. So we've got this first colour. And I've already threaded on for the second colour which we're going to do, which is in 255. Um, and we're going to be doing the second colour. So using the instructions here, we're going to be doing this level next. And I'm trying to work out the best spacing because we know from some of my previous kits that I sometimes struggle with getting the size right of my long and short stitch. Sometimes I have a tendency to do them a little bit too small. So I'm going to try my hardest to get it right this time. So let's get started. We're going to do it again like the first colour where it's split into um, sections. So we're going to start from the bunny rabbit's tail and I'm going to work towards the end to the left. So I'm going to start with a long one. A long one. So with the rest of the colours on this section, colour one was done in a double thread, but the rest are done in single threads. And Kevin had left a comment actually saying, reminding me saying that um, with the double thread, with the length, you double the length of the thread, <laughs> whereas I was doing it far too small. And I did actually change that for the last bit <laughs> and made sure that I'd made my thread longer so thank you for that kevin um that's very good advice so ellen on instagram has been saying what a beautiful kit this is and it really is it's a gorgeous kit um and it's inspiring her to start her her cruel work journey too so once you start do send in your pictures um but if you're feeling that something of this size is a bit daunting because it is it's a bit scary <laughs> when you first open it because it's there's so much detail goes into it. A really good one to start with is the rabbits, because like I was saying yesterday, it's this kind of section is part of the this is from part of the rabbits kit. So that's always a good one to start with. And there's lots of different levels of kits as well. So this one I believe is a level three. Um, but there's some level ones and twos as well, which are all equally as beautiful. <laughs> And I enjoy packing them all. <laughs> so it's definitely, there's other ones to start on if this is a bit daunting at first. So a kit which I really recommend if you want me to start and wanted to do ones with lots of different colours in is the Cuckoo, Wordsworth Cuckoo, which was my second kit. So this is my fourth and that was my second kit. And I absolutely loved doing the Cuckoo. And a lot of the techniques that we're using now were what I learned using that kit in those kids instructions and the colours are beautiful in it and there's lots of different bits to work on as well so it's a nice one to get your confidence up on and it looks really good at the end <laughs> down here So we've got the first two thirds of the second colour done, so we're going to move on to this final third. So like yesterday, I'm just going to put the first stitch of this colour in here. And then we're going to work this section first and then this section. So I'm going to finish off this last third of the second colour and on Thursday I will be back where we'll go in with the third colour and I'll show you the final bit of the second colour as well. So I'll see you on Thursday.